Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath, and uh, today's our video is a uh, macrolide antibiotics. See the name; it is very different than macro. Macro means a bigger inside. So these are the antibiotics having a bigger molecular size. That's why this is called a macro. Macro means big. Micro means small. We know very well. Okay. Macrolide antibiotics. Okay. Right. And there is a mainly four types of antibiotics are there. Macrolide antibiotics: azithromycin, clarithromycin, erythromycin, raxithromycin. Throw mycin. Throw. Just throw. See, commonly you will get the name of the throw. 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 Okay. And if you see the first letter, C A C E R. A C E R. A C E R. We know very well uh, what we are using. Current laptop is A C E R. Very popular. So among all, erythromycin is very very important. Next is the azithromycin. That's it. First one is the erythromycin. If you complete the erythromycin, automatically you can complete the uh, macrolide antibiotics. Total concept will be completed. Okay, right. See, this is my mobile app. You can be download it from the Google Play Store. Open the app and uh, go to the store option. See the pointer store option. And if you go to the store option, there I have arranged all my uh, presentations in the PDF format for like course wise, M Pharm C, B Pharm C, Pharma D, etc. And this is my YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, I go to the playlist option. In the playlist option, I arranged everything subject wise, all my explanation videos available. There in the app, PDFs are available. Here, explanation videos are available subject wise. If you click on each subject, you will get a Yeah. and if you see the contents mac these are the contents what this is your syllabus what i have covered see the macrolides contents what i have covered this is introduction mechanism of action uh, next is erythromycin azithromycin raxithromycin clarithromycin where is antibacterial spectrum doses preparations everything let us have a session first one is macrolide antibiotics we know that macro means a bigger in size In short form, they are also called as simply macrolides. Need not to be called macrolide antibiotics. So macrolide antibiotics need not to be in the short form. You can call as a macrolides. Okay, as a, okay, and uh, they have a macro cyclic. See, macro means big cyclic. See, here. this is a very big cycle. Gigantic cycle, macro cyclic. Lactone ring also. See here, lacto two rings are also there with attached. See. This is a macrocyclic lactone ring. See that very carefully. Macrocyclic lactone ring with attached sugars. See, this is a sugar. You know very well. This is also sugar. Attached sugars. Macro means a big size ring. Examples is ASA is an example. First member discovered is the erythromycin. 1950s before your birth. Okay, your birth year. Macrolides mechanism of action. All macrolides are the same mechanism of action. So don't scratch in your uh, your head in the examinations. Uh, if they all ask uh, azithromycin, erythromycin, uh, all throcins are uh, same. All throcins are same mechanism of action. Uh, what is that same uh, mechanism of action means? See in the micro that is in the microorganism that is in the bacteria. There is a ribosome sir that you know very well. Ribosomes. This is a. It looks like a egg shape. Egg shape. Ribosome. See here. Fifties ribosome. Thirties ribosome. This is a small subunit. This is a big subunit. That's a fifties. This is a thirty. See the number is very small. This is a ribosomal structure which is present inside the bacteria. Okay. This bacterial ribosomes. Keep in your mind. Very responsible for the synthesis of proteins of that microorganism. Not for the Synthesis of proteins in the human body. My bacteria will synthesize the proteins in the uh, ribosomes for their survival. It synthesizes the proteins for their survival. Okay. Now what happens? Our macrolide antibiotics attaches with the fifties ribosomal unit. See here where it is fifties ribosomal unit. It go and attaches here, prevents the formation of peptide bond. See macro. <coughs> Amino acid will come attach here next. So five and six will be join amino acids. One uh, and six and seven will be join with the protein bond. Seven and eight will come. Eight and like that, all these amino acids will be formed together to form a protein. That you know very well. Amino acids are the building blocks 
of the protein. Okay. So now what happened? This microlytes go and attaches to the pimpis ribosome. It stops the prevention of the peptide protein. So proteins will be so without proteins, automatically the bacteria will not be survived. So erythromycin, you will see it is isolated from this organism, streptomyces erythrius. Very, very important. Widely used as an alternative to the penicillin. Penicillin is the first antibiotic which is produced that you know very well. Uh, erythromycin having a various limitations also. This is a structure. See here, macrocyclic ring and attached sugar cells also there. It is a narrow spectrum. Narrow spectrum. It acts on both positive and negative, but mainly acts on the positive. That's why we are calling it as a narrow spectrum. It is very less against the gram negative, narrow spectrum antibiotic, gastric intolerance. It is destroyed by the gastric juice. That's why oral tablets, if you are taking, some amount of erythromycin will be destroyed. Okay. Low oral bioavailability, uh, poor tissue penetration, okay, and short half-life. So need not, so you have to need to take a frequent dose. Erythromycin dose and preparation is a 250 to 500 mg per six hours. Maximum dose is four grams per day. Children's 30 to 60 mg per kg per day. Okay. Erythromycin is available in the four forms. Erythromycin base, not brace, base, B A S C base. It is available see here. Erythromycin, plain erythromycin available in the tablets and suspension. Erythromycin stearate. See erythromycin stearate. Erythromycin estolate. Estolate. And erythromycin ethyl succinate. Ethyl succinate for oral suspension. So erythromycin antibacterial spectrum. It is uh, narrow spectrum antibiotic. Very, very important. It is very effective against the most of the gram positive organism. It is effective also, but uh, few gram negative. That's why we are considering only the gram positive. That's why we are saying it is a narrow spectrum antibiotic, highly effective against this and moderately effective against this and less or no effective against the enterobacteriaceae and not one. Penicillin resistance, stephylococci, streptococci are also resistant to erythromycin also. Okay, right. And erythromycin resistance, how that, see, some of the organisms, they will get resistance to erythromycin. First day, erythromycin will work uh, wonderfully. But if your patient is taking repeatedly after one month or after three months or after a PCR, any other infection, erythromycin will not work. Why erythromycin will not work? But the organisms which are present in your body will get resistance to erythromycin. How these organisms will get a resistance? Uh, see here, okay. How cocci will get resistance? This cocci develop a pump out process. So erythromycin will be entered into the cocci. Cocci will pump out the erythromycin. Like that it develops cocci. Very, very important. Enterobacteriaceae. See here. It, this develops the erythromycin esterase with enzyme. This esterase enzyme breaks down the molecule of erythromycin. That's why the drug will not work. It get resistance. See, it has a weapon now. Enterobacteria say it's an organism. It develops the enzyme. This enzyme is nothing but a weapon. It cut down the erythromycin. Got the point. Next is gram-positive bacteria. See, gram-positive bacteria, how they will get resistance. See, I told that ribosomes are egg-shaped. So that's why since it was egg-shaped, the erythromycin will enter. Now, these gram-positive bacteria, they will get a resistance by changing the egg shape into a round shape or triangle shape. So, erythromycin will get confusion. So, here there is no egg shape. Here, so, the, it thinks that erythromycin will think that there is no egg shape. So, there is no synthesis of protein. Why I have to enter like that? See, that is the thing. Erythromycin pharmacokinetics, it is an acid level, easily destroyed by the stomach acid. Uh, it, uh, it, Acid resistance is also available, which absorbs the better. Okay. Uh, presence of the food uh, retards the gastric emptying, slows the absorption of erythromycin, widely distributed the body, crosses the uh, serous membrane, placenta, do not cross the septal B, blood brain barrier. It is a protein bounded to 70 to 80 percent, excretion mainly through the bile. And so that need not to be changed the dose in the renal failure. It is a very minute erythromycin is eliminated by the kidney. So if the patient got a kidney failure also, no problem, need not to be adjusted to the dose. Okay. And plasma applies is 1.5 hours. See, kidney failure, it is an acid, easily destroyed with the acid, erythromycin steroid, 
half life see here half life is 1.5 hours okay erythromycin adverse effect deafness you will come if you are using a high doses of the erythromycin you will get a hearing aid i think uh, they have to medical shop uh, uh, people they have to put the offer for erythromycin if you are purchasing a one box of erythromycin uh, they will give hearing aid because uh, however automatically you will get a uh, possibility there is a possibility of the why can't uh, the medical shop they can't use this offer epigastric pain mild to severe oral ingestion it causes epi epigastric that is a stomach pain diarrhea high doses of hearing loss hypersensitive like skin rashes and fever all these are the side effect erythromycin drug drug interaction very very important it inhibits the metabolism of various drugs that's why it inhibits the hepatic oxidation of theophylline carbamazepine valproate erga so all these will not be metabolized if you are taking along with the erythromycin that's why what happen automatically the concentration of this drugs will be increased it may leads to toxic effect also that's why whenever you are giving a erythromycin along with this drug you reduce the dose of this drug so that you can maintain the level reduce the dose of theophylline carbamazepine valproate ergometrin all these next is it results in the rise so this results of rise in the plasma level that it may leads to toxic effect that's why you have to reduce next so uh, uh, ecg if you are taking a this is a you see pqrst waves so that all you know erythromycin clarithromycin inhibits the cyp 3a4 enzyme which is present in the uh, present in the liver metabolic enzyme it results in the high blood levels of uh, terfenadine astimizole cisapride this may leads to qt prolongation ecg qt wave qt wave prolongation qt time interval may be prolonged it may leads to ventricular arrhythmia and also leads to a death okay right and uh, this is a clinical users it is an alternative to penicillin for all this type of okay tonsillitis issue okay mastitis issue respiratory infections pneumococci diphtheria tetanus issue syphilis issue gonorrhea tetanus is here you a uh, tetanus okay and it is the first choice for atypical pneumonia mycoplasma pneumonia whooping cough <coughs> whooping cough cancroid and azithromycin popularly calling as a atm azithromycin very wonderful knowledge by this company indigo company they have a trademark or brand name of atm doctors will prescribe and remember very easily atm 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 means the patient will go to the atm by taking a prescription and he will uh, draw the amount okay not that atm atm means azithromycin uh, extended spectrum when compared to erythromycin it is a acid stability when compared to the erythromycin rapid oral absorption high efficacy once your dosing is enough renal excretion is only 10% that's why need not to be adjust the dose in the renal failure patient all macrolides uh, need not to be adjust first choice a pneumonia clindamycin tetramyl cancroid first choice of the drug dose is 500 mg once a day is enough three days three tablets is more than enough okay and preparations available tablets capsules dry syrup see here dry syrup is available for kids see this is a for kids side effects mild gastric upset to abdominal pain headache dizziness and roxithromycin roxithromycin see it is a semi synthetic longer acting acid stable long plasma half life 12 hours and twice daily is possible uh, antibacterial effect same as that of the erythromycin adults 150 to 300 mg children 2.5 to 5 rapid liquid is also available preparations tablets oral liquids are also common clarithromycin introduction is more acid stable last slide this is clarithromycin more acid stable this is also rapidly absorbed orally bioavailability is 50% because of the first pass metabolism anti microbial spectrum is erythromycin dose is uh, like this preparation tablets so see a tablet so dry syrup so similar to erythromycin so i will stop uh, my session here okay keep rocking and keep studying